Welcome to Hammerhead Hobbies. In this episode, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this Henschel HS123A by NPC. Alright, welcome back. This is a Henschel HS123A by MPC. It is in 1 to 72 scale. The model number is 1 4011. And this particular model was made in 1983. All right, starting off with the instructions. Here we have, let's go inside here. We have our assembly instructions. Okay, so we have our, our pieces and these are our paint codes. Okay, so there we go. Now, again, these are very basic placement guides on where everything should go. And I keep reiterating this, that you, know, you should always dry fit the parts first prior to gluing them on. That way it ensures that they fit and that's the proper location and, you know, angles and stuff like that for the pieces. So always dry fit it. Flipping over, we have our paint and decal guide. So here is our paint colors okay and then we'll flip it over to our paint and decal scheme so this is where the decals would go and this is the paint scheme it has for this particular model okay and that's very basic instructions and that's all there is that's all you would need moving over to the decals Okay, again, they give you some nice decals here. They're in great shape, actually. Okay, and they give you your basic decals. There's no, you know, and even the, the squadron emblem right there and the basic rondelle. So a good collection of decals, not too many small ones, but very nice. And that's, that's all the decals are. Moving on to the sprues. I haven't opened these yet. This is a brand new. Okay. I'll just place those in there. Okay, so as you can see, this is a brand new kit and there are pieces off the sprues already. So you gotta be really careful. You don't lose any pieces. Starting off with the fuselage, there's some extremely nice detail here. You can see the rivets and the panel lines. Again, these are all raised. Uh, the support for the wings are actually on the plane, which is kind of nice because it gives you that proper angle for them. But just be careful they don't break off. Okay, and then looking over at the bombs, which are perfectly smooth. The fins are very thick, um, and again, very indicative of the year of the model, because I think this mold is from an older kit. Um, so these are, are very thick fins for, for these bombs. Uh, sometimes what I'll do is I'll file them down and taper them, so it gives the illusion that they're a lot thinner. Okay, some good shape to the wheel skirts. Okay, you have your different levels on there. I'm just going to flip this over, and... There's no detail on the inside of the fuselage. Okay, and then these are the bomb holders, which look very thin, so that's very nice for that. And that's that sprue. Okay, I just gotta be careful here. I don't know what's on this sprue. Looks like all the sprues are broken. And the, the other side of the wheel skirt. Okay, uh, you see this model was made in France. Looking at this sprue here, we have a lot of pieces on this one. So we have our front cowling. Okay, and there's great shape to that. There's a lot of bumps to it. We have our engine. And the engine, they do give you a lot of good detail. So you can see the fins in there. The air-cooled fins, and you'll see some lines coming off of there. Um, you have that piece here, I can't tell. The front cowling here where the machine guns are. Really nice shape. Good detail on that. 
the seat right here. Okay, again, it's plain, but back in the old days, these planes, these planes had uh, basic seats and stuff like that. We do have a pilot, which is nice and detailed. Okay, so there's good, pretty good sharp detail on that pilot, so it'll be easy to uh, paint up. We have our uh, elevators or horizontal stabilizers, and again, the same uh, panel lines and rivets as the fuselage, so that's very nice there. Okay, we have some supports here, and you know, just just in general, it's a really nice, you know, fairly detailed kit, so that's nice there. Looking at the upper wing, so we do have our ribs that are in there, and they're very pronounced, and very nice. And then the elevator piece, uh, sorry, the ailerons are cut out there in a, a recessed line. So, so there it is. That's just top wing. Looking at the bottom wing portion, and again, it does have the the ribbing in there. Okay, and some flaps, and it does have the spot for the bombs in there. So those are a little thick, but in general, this is a nice piece also. Now there is a loose piece in here. I don't see the, this is the canopy. Okay, so, I mean, that's all you can get. It's almost non-visible. It's very thick, you know. It's not clear at all, but it doesn't have to be. You just have to, you know, put it on there, uh, trim it up a little bit. So that's the canopy. That's it. And that's another piece of the skirt inside the box here, uh, the other side of the skirt. So that's it for the uh, MPC Henschel one HS 123A. If you stick around. I'll have my pros and cons list and a quick summary about what I think of this model. Welcome to pros and cons. Pros. There are good decals included. There's great exterior detail. And it comes with a pilot. Cons. Instructions could use a better placement guide. There's not enough interior detail. And the canopy is thick for the size. Overall, this is a great kit for beginners. And this could be a quick build for more experienced builders. I hope you enjoyed the review, and I hope you enjoy your build.